I don't remember what the goal was. Uh, oh, I guess we're going back home. I think I, I must have just finished the mission last time. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I did. I knew that, Ariel. I thought you, I, I don't know why I thought you were being literal, like there was a character in one of the personas with the last name persona. I was like, well, I didn't play the first two, so. You think this is a joke, pal? What's this guy on about? It sounds pretty pissed. There's a fight going. Uh, is there a fight going on down there? You think this is a joke, pal? Oh shit! Echo. Sorry about that, guys. Whoa! They are both dressed extremely ridiculous. Both of them. I guess he's just in a chef outfit, so that makes sense. Wait a second, wait a second. I did this last time. Huh? Wait a second. Maybe it isn't? I don't know. Oh. The test, what the hell are you on about? You and I will spar. Defeat me and you pass. I'm getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine. You want to fight? I'll take. I'll take you. See how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. They're fighting over a can opener. I do feel like I did this last time. Oops. The original we've got up. We've got a, t a tabletop RPG going that's based around Persona, so I've been going through the games. Hey, I know Nate, Nate was saying you want to do that for a really long time. How how long has your campaign can go been going? Or did you guys just start? Huh? I ain't gonna feel sorry when I you lose an arm or if I straight up end you. She <laughs> Maybe this is new. Well, maybe this is new. Maybe it was a different guy last time. Cause I don't remember the '70s kung fu movie porn music in the background. Like, are they about to fuck when they're done? Yakuza is kind of like a way easier than Shenmue. I don't remember having a difficult time on the Dreamcast version, but it's also been like a flibbity jillion years. The hell are those moves with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever, ever seen, but he's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch. You fail. Yeah, oh. well, what do you expect? Giving me a shit sword like this? That staff you got there is way better. This is merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold, on the other hand, is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. Oh, we got a weapon boy. Hey, again, I see we got into the game. Yeah, we had just got to the end of um, um, the play, like the little playlist. When did you go blue, and how does it look so good after they've banned hairdressers for two months? Uh, it doesn't. You can actually see. I'll switch over here so you can see it yourself. It doesn't look that good. See all this here, like that where it's darker. Those are my roots. And as far as color goes, I dye it like I touch up the ends and stuff myself. I actually mix conditioner with blue hair dye, and I just did it last night, so it's pre looking pretty fresh right now. And I just put the dye on my roots too, and my hair is brown, so it just kind of makes it like a gray blue. It actually looks a lot better on here than I would say it does in person. Uh, specifically the roots part. It's a lot more noticeable in person.
let's go sing some karaoke. You, uh, did you unlock that yet? I did. It was like the first mission we did. Do you have to keep doing karaoke? Is there a benefit to it? Stupid me for cooking dinner. Uh -huh. No, nah, it's all good. You came back just in time. We just started. Oh, yep. There he is, licking his leg. Oh, I just, I just realized I was playing the game. I hadn't, I hadn't moved back yet. No, wait, yes, I did. You guys are just really, really behind. I thought maybe I was stuck on that scene. I must just have a really big delay. Oh, wow. Um, around a year, but we were forced to take a break because of COVID. So are you guys doing it like remote now or are you just like socially distance playing? Because I know Wolf opened some stuff up anyway, so you guys might actually be okay. I can't believe I didn't send a gift for the pups last time you sent stuff. You sent so much though, team. You gave me so many clothes, which are awesome by the way. I have them in the room somewhere. I think they're in one of like these storage containers. And you gave us like all kinds of snacks. To hell with your damn shop. I hope it burns you with it. Rumors said that you were the dealer to beat, so I went to the bother. Uh, I went through the bother of tracking you down, and for what, you fraud? I don't know. He seemed pretty legit to me. For uh, forward aerial, there is no Oya or Chihaya options. Shit, I've been. Uh, I just been staring. Don't want to get dragged into somebody else's dirty dealing. I'm out of here. Like. Among other reasons, which are, they are absolutely nobody in the world's first choice. Uh, I also, like, don't really want to spend money on the cosplays, because I don't really care for them. We've been doing D&D &D online in the meantime. I mean, I'm sure that there's, like, apps and stuff to do that, all that kind of stuff now. Ah, Majiba, curious meeting you here. Oh, this is the guy I talked to last time. Oh, it's you. Don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about, in search of a place where the two of us could spar un uninterrupted. That's so? Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. A real nasty customer at that. Mm -hmm. His name is Fei Hu, a local arms dealer, dealer. Quite the master himself, too, so long as a weapon rests within his hands. Mm -hmm. Nani? What, you know that guy? Sayo. I knew his father for ages, back when we walked. he walked this earth. Checking in on him was half my reason for coming to Sotenbori. As long as we are all here, why don't I introduce you? Yep. Hey, I didn't ask for any favors, but he's so rad, Majima. No drunk old ladies? Yeah. That's too close to home. I don't need to cosplay a drunk old, old lady forward. I am a drunk old lady. I am, I am cosplaying to escape my Oya life. How do you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off has long passed. It seems Fei Hu has been aware of your presence from the start. <laughs> Just cut to a shot of him standing over your shoulder. Apologies, Komeki-san, but I do not trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. I'll wear rave pants, and I'll get like those sex bracelets that everybody wore, and I'll do my hair in like really ugly ponytails, and I'll chew bubble gum and pop bubbles. And we'll listen to like happy hardcore. Bootleg Yoshi answers everybody's dreams. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what? Is that is is that what everybody wants to be? A drunk old lady? Apologies, Kameki-san. But I do not trust him. He has an air of danger about him. Now don't you go being stubborn on me too. Delay no longer and put him to the test. I can tell you already, uh, this young man will most certainly pass. Say what? Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, come, Majima. I saw that look on your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. And now your silence speaks volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Yeah. Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration. Just a few dumb thoughts rattling around. Yes, but what if they were enough to match Fei Hu's skill? They would be less dumb. Stray thoughts and more akin to full-blown revelation. Whether you give that revelation life or snuff it out is your choice. Care to at least give it a try? 
Listen, I've had a long ass day and I'm tired as a dog. Let me make this quick. I assume you have no objections, Fehu. If you re recommend him so strongly, very well. It is settled then. Now, what'll it be? The man is an arms dealer. He can procu procure for you most anything you want. Hmm. Can he get me an even bigger ponytail? Huh? A ponytail? Are they special brownies, Pilot? Are they special brownies with fruit snacks? Because if so, regardless, the answer is yes, because I fucking love brownies. I especially love brownies a la mode with ice cream. Ho ho, this should be quite an entertaining match. Steady now. Begin. Are they brownies or brownies? Slugger style. Guard is a weapon. I forget how to guard. I think it's is it R1? No. Oh, L1. That's close. Not be a bad idea to heal right now. Hey, I did it again. Give me credit. Give me credit. There we go. Jesus. Shit, now I have to send another package to include homemade scrapple. I, 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 so, Scrapple's alright, but I bet John would love Scrapple. It seems like the kind of, like, the kind of shit that he gets at some of the Asian restaurants we go to. They don't quite have Scrapple, but they have, like, honestly, like, like, loose ground meat, sausage of some type. It's kind of the same. And, and fish balls. Those are basically just meatballs. I'm in Canada where it's legal, we get crazy good edibles now. But uh, back when I was in California, yeah, you could get it literally delivered to your front door. It was fucking awesome. I certainly did not expect you to use a bat so well. You're quite the interesting fellow. Ah. Just remember using one back when I was running raids at, on the competition. I think I've impressed, uh, think I've improved since then though. Surprised me too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think you were a spur of the moment selection. Uh, think a spur of the moment selection like that would get you far that far against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. I can't send John pre-fried scrapple. Yeah, it's like impossible. Honestly, I've never had a pork roll. So, uh, Fei Hu, right? What'd you think of my bat work? Hi. You passed with flying colors, of course. You are precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapon shop, you mean? That's nice of you to offer, but as you've seen, I ain't real interested in the conventional stuff. Heh. <laughs> so much the better. I'm not a common dealer pawning off weapons I've scavenged. Huh? Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what it is we do. I'm gonna beat your ass and rob you. Hi. This is our shop, the uh, Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Yeah? I was thinking that shit on his back with Chinese. This is my wife, Long Hua. Also, Hua is a Chinese last name. I should have realized that. And I should have realized that the back of his thing was Chinese, to be honest. You'd think I know, considering married to a Chinese guy. And there's Chinese shit all over our house. No, don't even apologize, Cheaton. I appreciate it. He gives me somebody to talk to. Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand-forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So you ain't the arms trader. You're a smith, is what you're saying. Well, his name is Fei Hu. Yeah, I know. I, Fei Hu and Hua. I should have known. And, and his fighting style was like very much like uh, Wushu. Or something of that nature. Actually, John should be in the chat right now. I bet he'd love this shit. I'll have to show him later when I upload the VOD. 
Chinese in Japan. Yeah, actually, so this is a fun fact if you didn't know it. Um, ramen in Japan is actually considered a Chinese dish. That's why when you see it served, it's in always like Chinese bowls. And usually the Japanese don't give you uh, like utensils other than chopsticks for anything. And it's considered not Japanese food because you don't eat Japanese food with like a spoon. That's like, it comes, the spoons come with the ramen bowls and the ramen bowls are all like Chinese fare. So when they eat Chinese, is when they eat ramen, to them it's more like closer to Chinese food, even though we think in the West of ramen is Japanese food. In Japan, they think it's Chinese, which is why it's always served in Chinese dishware and stuff. You send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such? That is pretty different. Fight. Our goal in all of this is to de develop a robust network with arms dealers the world over, but some agents' work takes from takes them far from civilization. So basically, you've got these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit. I'm all about that, actually. Indeed, remote archaeological sites produce some of the most beautiful wrought and historically important weaponry. Excuse me. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. Furthermore, customers who whose con contributions pass a certain level are given a special reward. Private arms lessons. You don't say. Yeah, so I'm guessing that means you were holding back when we fought out there. Naturally, that was only a test. All according to Keikaku. Heh, you're one slippery eel. Ah, speaking of this fish, I just remembered. I ain't ate yet. I'm half starved to death here. You said this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me the house special, would ya? Aya! You customer for. Oh my god. Oh no. I said aya, just. I didn't realize that's actually what she was doing, but they gave her an accent. You customer for that side of business too? You wait. I fix you a fee. I fix you a feast. Guys. Did you have to do that, Sega? I love Persona. Me too. It's my favorite. Persona 4 is my favorite game of all time. Majima, there's a favor I would ask of you. What now? Come again for Big Fudge? I don't need to tell you not to spread the word of their business, but I'd also ask you keep their uh, keep vigil over them. Why's that? The happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in time their shop may be may draw the ire of some terrible foe. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I only ask that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps buy something, send them out on a search, that sort of thing. Yeah, alright. I'm headed into the wilderness to train. Don't go letting that edge of yours dull, either. Maximum edge! Oh my god, that was a really good eye, uh, uh, yeah, so my husband is Chinese, and his parents are obviously also Chinese, and, um, being a weave, I grew up a lot around a lot of Asian friends, so I've met a lot of Asian parents in my day. So I am well fam I am very familiarized with the eye, uh, and now, <laughs> now I can see my mom and dad do it too, because they're my in-laws. You is a Chad. He absolutely is. The doll girl? That sounds scary. Boy. Hey, kiddo. Where's your mom? Are you lost? Um, no, I'm just gonna sit here and fucking possess you, because I'm a Japanese ghost. No, I'm not. No? Then what you standing around for all by yourself then, huh? No reason. <sighs> What's with this kid? She's doing it right not... She's doing it right not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. Let me send this kid packing. Hey yeehaw, how's it going? Listen, why don't we all uh why don't you hail tail hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. Okay. Off with you then, you little scamp. Kinda looked like she had something to say. Still, she's ain't she ain't lost and ought to make it home okay. She just hope there's no troublemakers lurking about. Is she running away from home or something? Okay. Alright. How am I doing all my health items and stuff? Oh, plenty. Plenty. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeehaw, why? Why are you like this? What am I gonna do? Oh, what to do? You. Watch you guys like, I'm just gonna keep walking. <laughs> it literally froze. Okay. Excuse me. Huh. Or, um, well, the thing is, you want something from me? Don't, you want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Y yes. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, um, er, listen. Whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I, I have a favor to ask. I have a favor to ask. Can, can you please be my boyfriend? Say okay. what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend, please. Pretty please. What, just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean like, you want to be a couple. Go on dates. What the hell? That's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. Boyfriend, right? Okay, back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be your man. Every girl I meet these days makes me understand I'm less and less. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer like, don't even think you want, little lady. I got no interest in women. I got no interest in women. I don't got no interest in women. Huh? Oh, well, okay. I mean, that's not a problem at all. But if you don't mind, could you set aside your preferences and just be my boyfriend for today? I know what he's saying in Japanese. What are you talking about, girly? Oh, darn it. I left out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me, pretend. Uh, yes, you see, my father is visiting from back home and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors. He's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him, I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin and wears an eye patch and a cool ponytail and has dangerous air about him, kind of like the blade of a knife. Why would you give him so many details? And why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I would kind of made it up as I went. But, but then Dad started saying... <laughs> but then Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill. So you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad? Wow, you can't do it fast. That's pretty much it. <laughs> If Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll mar force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody looks anything like anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? Oh yeah, absolutely. I want to keep doing this for an hour. This girl's in a pickle, all right. Who would want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with him? Fine. You painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend you be your boyfriend. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Oh, my name is Coco. Please call me Coco Chan. Oh, and I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. I'm Goro Majiba. I see that Majima-san, I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan, we just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no, I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. Uh, if you say so. 
Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going, like, right now. I can see why your dad's worried about you. Huh. I'm getting exhausted already. And what's this about? Going where? Come on, Twy, and keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet with my dad over dinner. The three of us. We're going to meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. <laughs> Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go, why don't ya? Bing, bang, boom. Oh no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Coco-chan. Get a move on. Damn, I don't know what I was expecting, but here we are. Here we are. Fantastic. I'm <laughs> I'm glad I randomly decided to stick with this. So go on, John. This is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. You got it, but what's all this about making him angry? Your dad get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary though. He seems to think I'm not the most sharpest tool in the shed, and he ba he babies me more than- <laughs> He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he ever should. Ooh, but underneath that all, he's a good- He's as good a father as I could ever ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried, too. You see, if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, you'll blow his lid and be like, Forget this guy! I'll arrange the next date! So let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory right now. Yes. Excuse me, I need a backstory. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes to go out on drives and watch movies, and your favorite food is an omelet rice I make. Okay. Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made it up. If he's curious, we can always make sure you've got it memorized. Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all of these details? Fine. From the top! We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going on drives and watching movies. And you like the omelet lice I make, okay? Hey, you're giving Majima a voice, too. I'm not trying to. Also, holy shit. That took a lot of effort. <sighs> but I'll give it my best shot. Oh my god, your dad looks, like, younger than you. So this is Coco John's dad. <laughs> Unlike his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Coco Jet, this is my father! Hello, I'm Coco's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm seeing, Goo Majima son! You know, now that I think about it, Meeting the girl's dad for the first time sure is su super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get into this role properly. No different than the guard, right? The first impression's key. What do I open with? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Gora Majima. Majima could was it? I understand my daughter's looking for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Kokoa san has stood by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days is the erosion of courtesies in today's youth. So many who can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem very different, Majima. 
That's right, Dad. Bobo Chan's not like those stereotypical men. Good. The first impression went well. Play on the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima Kun, I must say, I'm surprised you really do exist. I beg your pardon. Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender waisted. Sports patch <laughs> sports and eye patch. And now I'm starting to sound like I'm from New Jersey. Sports and eye patch has long long hair tied back and emits a deadly aura unlike any dagger's edge. Ooh. I know I'm such a good voice actress. I never imagined such a man could actually exi exist, yet here we are, in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I figured he was another figment of your overactive over imagination. I don't think I can keep doing this. It's really hard. Oh, well, back to live imagination. Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? I can't do this anymore. I can't. It was fun while it lasted. I'm losing it, though. They do seem to be on good turns, and her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. Yet slowly migrate across the span of the United States. Well, I'm really proud of you all for sticking around for that. Thank you. I don't even remember how it started. Oh yes, Majima Kun. Kokuo must have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? Oh man, I think Kokuo mentioned that in my backstory she gave me. He'll be a dentist. That was delightful. Well, I'm glad you guys are about my bullshit. I'm a dentist. Oh yes, yes, that's right. I heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed it from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. Uh, I get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad, you're being so rude to my Gorochan. Whew, I'm just glad I remembered what Gorochan told me in the hack job of a backstory. Incidentally, Majima Kun. Donnie. I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokua? Oh, well, that's, uh. Jesus! I didn't ask you. I asked Majima Kun. But. Oh, damn. He's gonna figure out you're lying. I wish you went for the bad options. Do you, uh, I, do you still get the quest? I don't know. What is the benefit of answering the right way? I'd prefer if this was set in the Legend of Korra universe. I'd prefer if you licked my farts. The subtle one. Legend of Korra. Yes. Legend of Korra is trash garbage. The Last Airbender is wonderful. The best. What the? What the? He's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? Gotta explain how I su supposedly met Coco Chan in the way that won't make me won't, won't make him more suspicious. <sighs> Did she tell me what to do? Okay, well I'm gonna obviously pick this one because. Oh, Coco-chan had a piece of toast in her mouth, and she ran right into me. That's how we met. Nani? That sounds awfully like an anime. Uh-huh, yep. It was like a scene straight out of a manga. She was on her way to my office, and, uh, and, uh... She is not. You're a liar. <laughs> I would never. <coughs> I don't even finish shit. I don't even finish cosplaying shit I do like. Yeah, I turned the corner and wham, toast everywhere. Gorochan helped me uh, pick up the crumbs. And then it turned out I was going right for his workplace. Go full anime. I liked Korra more than The Last Airbender, to be honest. I'm gonna stop the stream right now. I only got through the first episode or two and I couldn't keep going with it. Legend of Korra was quite weird. I didn't, I, I watched the entire first season I didn't like it the first time. I watched it air live. I rewatched it again after I rewatched The Last Airbender this year. I still didn't like it. But everybody said it, kept, said it kept getting better. So I started season two. And I hated it even more. So I stopped. That's the whole story. 
Maju is a dentist. So, you were running to the dentist with toast in your mouth? Why would you be eating just before having your teeth looked at? Yeah, you stupid! Ugh! That was pushing a little too far. He's gotta be suspecting something by now. Maju I'm going to put you... Put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? He's like, my daughter's a piece of shit. Well, <laughs> why would you ever? He's like, I've heard that voice. Dad, why would you want to put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Kokua, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, why, I would give you my blessing for a marriage, right? That is, right that instant. Dad, uh... That's why I need to ask, Majima Kun. What about Kokua do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here. Guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Koko-chan I go along with this. Gotta find a good reason to why, why I find her so attractive. She makes great omelet rice. I remembered. I remembered. Pro strats. I fell in love with how great the omelet rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelet rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But Majima Kun, if that's all you see in my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. Bitch. I'm just trying to get <laughs> it in. I'm not trying to date your daughter. Actually, Majima doesn't even want that. If it's a delicious omelet rice that you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Dad. Tapping into Coco Chan's backstory fine. From her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Huh? Um, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey, don't fall in. Wait a sec. With her powder in her nose, it sounded just me and her old man. Damn, awkward. Majima Kun. Yes. I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Nani? Her lie? The jig is up! Huh, you knew all along, huh? Guess the jig is up. <laughs> yeah, of course. I could see through you two from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father all these years for nothing. Why'd you go along with the dumb charade for so long? Hmm. Kokua was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arrange for her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Kokua was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone else's help. Oh, with the feels music. Uh, there it is. <clears throat> I lost my wife when Kokoa was still an infant. I tried to raise her well, so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I, but I know I've only I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let it go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday my daughter's going to be bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a real good idea of what to expect. Bah. I still- It still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell ya. Hey, Ryan. I think avoiding an arranged marriage was the only reason Coco-chan pulled the stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. It's pretty plain to see she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you that she can manage her own affairs. Like getting married. Sorry, I'm back. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Coco-chan. So, listen, your dad actually knew... Majima Kun. Yes? Kokua, you've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about, after all. Dad... I know, right? Goro-chan's a super cute guy, uh, is a super guy, so this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yeah, I can see there's no longer any need. It's been an awfully long day, I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. 
Did somebody say imperialism? Oh yeah, uh, TC is a um, a historian, a history teacher. The last Ukrainian. Gorochan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Gorochan, your performance today was pretty. Is her dad just fucking taking a drag right in the background, listening to us say this? Your performance today was pretty tough, pretty rough. Uh, I bet my dad's going to know you were faking it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, well, I'll deal with that if it comes up. Take this with you. Uh, take this with my thanks, anyway. You got the bullet bulletproof glass amulet. Oh, what's this? Looks like a one-time use item, but I guess we'll find out. Ah. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. Be good to your dad. He's probably worried about you because you have fucking terrible fashion sense. Kokoa, I forgot something. Take those ugly socks off. Give me just a moment. Mm. Oh, okay. Do you guys know that uh, YouTube channel, The mm. Walking in Nature? That's pretty neat. Nature, that's what it's called, Nature. Something wrong? Majima Kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Huh? What's that? Majima Kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You weren't, uh, you went through all that bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> I was trying to put one past you. Can you guys imagine if I was still doing this that voice this whole time? I'm glad I stopped. I was thinking, it's gotta be over soon. It's gotta be over soon. This is like, I don't know what I was thinking. Whew. Now that is a great outfit. Huh. I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why... I would like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. Boy? Boy? Did we not learn? Did we not learn our lesson? What did I just say? Excuse me. What'd you just say? I said, won't you please ask to be, ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please. And it's hard wider to try and set her up with people. Keep this family in your life. Because you're the ideal man, I think you can safely entrust her future to you. Absolutely not. You could start by just pretending. That'd be fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. I don't approve of this. Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. Mm -hmm. Take my daughter, please. I meant I heard no bad voices. Did you literally not hear me doing it for like what felt like 25 minutes earlier? I was probably only doing it for two, but... Hey, Day. No, no consent at all. Well, she's already saying... She's already saying that her dad wants to set her up with an arranged marriage, which is like, in 80s Japan is still pretty, uh, pretty not a thing. Like, I feel like it's late enough where that wasn't a thing. But TC Pilot would probably know. I can't, I don't have a choice. Majima made the choice for me. I completely forgot where I was uh, going before all of that. Storia Yakuza, am I right? That's a very anime thing. Or like, my favorite is when they talk in games like Fire Emblem and they don't even say a word, they're just like uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Like it's just that noise. Uh. Like some, like they, like they tensed up their stomach and somebody lightly punched them. Uh. Like a little dry heave. Whoa, y'all find it over here. So, is this just a, a constant baseball bat I have on me, I guess? Ooh, I don't grab, I just like jab. grabbing them.
gosh, I think it's been months since I played this game. It's been, I think, less than a week. Might actually be a little bit of a week. God forbid I have to do that assignment again. I'm going to save before I go on to the next story thing. Ooh, an item. Shiny thing. Oh, shit! More porn. Yeah, yeah, that's another one. That's it. That's it. 